Hey YouTube, it's Travis, the Pagan Scholar. If you don't live in America, lucky you, then you might not have heard of this holiday, but you actually probably have. It was just a way for me to say lucky you for not living in America. Anyways, I wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, regardless of if you live in America or not. You know, of all of the mainstream and non-religious holidays out there, I actually really appreciate Thanksgiving. I enjoy Thanksgiving because it's actually kind of a, a quiet, pondering time to actually, you know, sit back and think about the things that you're grateful for. And so I wanted to say that I am grateful for you, anybody who's watching this video. I'm honored that I get to be a part of this conversation on YouTube, that people want to hear my voice, and I'm always intrigued and excited when somebody responds and I get to hear their perspective. So yeah, I wanted to say thank you for, I don't know, being here watching my videos and uh, it's something that I'm grateful for. One of my followers, or followers, that sounds really culty. <laughs> one of my subscribers is uh, Ruth and she lives in Australia and she was one of the winners for the poetry, found poetry giveaway that I did. And in return, she sent me this lovely note and it's it's layered. I think she painted it, um, and it's 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 really sweet and kind, and I I want to keep that to myself. But um, she also sent me this. This is so cool. It's um, it's beeswax, and on it it says, "Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it." And that's a quote from Goethe. Goethe. And it's got this lovely tree, this design. I think this is beautiful. And I was like, wow, this is... I mean, without the phenomenon of YouTube, I would have never received anything from Australia from Ruth. And so I just wanted to say thank you. Also, if you have a minute, you can go check out her channel. She has this lovely spirit about her. She's very intuitive and she ponders these wonderful questions, so um, I'll put a link to her channel in the description. Almost finally, as the last thing I'm going to say, second to last, I am currently reading The Veil of Isis, and guys, it's phenomenal! This is so great! I put off reading this for a while, and Marshall uh, purchased it in a used bookstore, and I started reading it before him, and I'm like, no, you don't get to read it until I'm done. <laughs> so. Um, this is going to be a, a review that I'm going to be doing in the future, and I'm thinking about doing it in chapters the same way that I did Triumph of the Moon, because um, it's very heady material, but it's beautifully written. Um, it's by Pierre Hadot, and it's translated by Michael Chase. So yeah, look forward to this, look for it in the upcoming videos. And finally, also, um, an idea for a future video is I've seen a couple of other people do this, and I figure why not? Um, in the comments below, ask me a question. <laughs> I'll do the, um, the ask me anything tag or whatever, I don't know. But, um, yeah, Q&A. And, uh, you can ask anything so long as it's relatively appropriate. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it'll be great. Alright guys, I have got to get going. I've got to clean out my car because Marshall and I are going to his parents' house for Thanksgiving. But um, before we do that, I just wanted to give you guys just, you know, a happy Thanksgiving and to you. As always, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again.